Let's talk about the divine. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about the light. Do you think that that's divine, that's creator, want to give you? Or that depends on how you behave and that's how it's going to give you. What do you think? What's come to your mind? When I say I don't want to receive something because I feel guilty, because I feel ashamed, the light, the force, the divine, the God, the creator would not help you with that. If you make decision, conscious decision to say, I don't want, which is very noble behavior. It's a nice behavior to be able to say, I'm not going to eat any pizza. And then after 20 years, you didn't eat, eventually you're going to die, right? Make sense? You don't breathe, you don't eat, you don't drink. Make, make sense? I'm exaggerating. So we, we get the point. So the left column, we understand we always need to receive. Always need to receive. But you receive because the force want to give you or you receive because you want. Like Avash like said, you must ask yourself why you want it. Do you want it because you know the universe want to give it to you? Or do you want it because you want it? Because you're lacking something. Ravash like is teaching us a secret. If you want it and receive it because you're lacking something, once you're going to have it, you're not going to be happy. Tough. If you're saying, I don't want it, I want to become a noble person, you're not going to get it. And you will be a noble person. But you will not be able, you will not be able to connect to what we call the divine. It's almost like you're coming to somebody who's very generous home and they try to serve you food and you said, I'm so sorry, I'm on diet for three days on cleansing. So why did you come to dinner? I just want to pay respect, which is nice. But you insult the person who's hosting you because they want to give you the light want to give the light want to give the divine want to give are you are the one who try to play noble all day long and say it's okay it's okay it's okay or are you are the one who's greedy all day long and say I don't have enough money I don't have enough love you're getting into a situation you wish for yourself for something soulmate health money whatever you want to wish for yourself why are you wishing it because I don't have it you lost it. once you're gonna get it you're gonna be miserable if you keep connecting to what you're lacking you're not correcting the left column of the 72 name if you want things because you're lacking it it's not going to work the left column still missing something if you say I don't want it at all you disconnect yourself from the flow of energy called the right column it's a tough thing to do so what should I do? What should I do? You gotta look inside of yourself this week and say, Elia, why do you want it? Because I'm hungry. That's not a good approach. I want it because the light has it within the light and the light wanna share it. And I would like to open myself to receive that blessing. That's the only way we can connect to what we call the 72 name of God the mind over matter, miracle and wonder. Otherwise, we will keep wishing for things. And once it happens, once you receive it, you work so hard to get it, and you're still miserable by the time that you got it. The other end, you say, I don't want it. You disconnect yourself from the divine. Because we see many people in spirituality just say, okay, I'm not going to have it. That's not connecting to the light. Because it's written, en arur mindabek bebaruch. The one who's feeling cursed, I don't deserve it. The light say, okay, when you feel like you deserve it, I will come and bless you. You want to punish yourself? Keep punishing yourself. The light will call you later when you stop punishing yourself. Punishing yourself, it's not spiritual. It's some religious person inventing it. It was never part of God's plan that you should beat yourself up. Life beating you up anyway. Why are you beating yourself up? There's, there is no reason to hate yourself. Why are you hating yourself? What's to hate about yourself? It's an ego trip. To hate yourself, it's an ego trip. It's the worst ego trip. I can't stand myself. Really? 
that's what you're busy with can't stand yourself what about the light can you stand the light yes if we will be connected to the light the whole time I will not be busy hating myself there's no time if you want to get the people out of Egypt if you want to make a miracle you gotta connect to Atika you connect connect to the regular level called Zerampin it's quite high level for everything else but miracle has to come from Atika soulmate have to come from Atika money from Atika long life coming from Atika to create miracle to go to Atika you have to go above that of course we're sitting here everybody's with a pen okay how to do it give us the recipe what to do so look what Ravash like right it's not in the English Pirush noda shachokmat mitzrayim aita mitzat small the Egyptian wisdom come from left column remember the left column the receiving force that's why the pyramid built in a certain way okay like the top is where everything come from the light and everything to me that's why the Egyptian was worshiped the body to keep the body to restore the body as long as possible which mean left column everything about the left column they were the master of the left column but the area where you receive for you and you receive for you and you're never happy you're never happy in a second. God said to Moses, if you want really to remove the roots of evil, the roots of the Egyptian, not just there internally, the roots of the wrong left column, the imbalanced left column, you need to remove the roots of the left column. וזה לא היה אפשר זולת באור הגדול של העתיק הקדישה שהיא שורש הכל. To do it, tell us the Zohar, tell us Rabbi Ashlag, we have to fix everything in this level. Sometimes you're coming to fix your life and to be honest with you, I don't want to disappoint you or make you depressed. You can pray for 50 hours and nothing going to happen. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's the truth. Somebody gotta tell you the truth, you know? Sometimes you have a conversation with your daughter, your son, and at one point you gotta look at their eyes and say, the truth, it's very nice you try very hard, but the door is this way. The door is in Atika. Miracle door are in Atika. It's gotta be here. Now, Mati Takelai, why are you praying to me? Say God to Moses. Ba'atika talia kula. Everything depends on Atika. אשר אורו הגדול יכול לבטל שורש המצרים שבבינה דאריך הנפין. Because the amount of light that coming from here will be able to remove the roots of the left column that going on the wrong direction. Will be able to remove the left column of the selfishness. For example, somebody who was born cheap. For example, cheap is a disease. It's a terrible disease. Somebody born cheap. How are they going to overcome it? They can't. person who's very cheap it, it's a sad you find out how much money they have after they die sad because people who are cheap are not bad people they're sick where does the sickness come from from the internal Egyptian wrong left column energy it's impossible to remove it it's it's it's, it's impossible a person have to climb to Atika to remove it somebody who's cheap will not even know that they are cheap they always think that they give way too much They think everybody's after their money. And why is it like this? Because the left column has not been corrected. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Kedin Kad Itnair Kula Kechada, Ve'avad Yama Nimusim Elayim, Nitmasu Be'yadu Elayim, Etatayim. Ve'begin kach, Kasha Kami Kutsha Barich Kula, Kekriyat Yavsuf. Ve'kula Achi Ukma, Ma'i Tama Begin Dekriyat Yavsuf Ve'atik Atalia. Rav Yitzchak said, Then, when everything shone together, the sea executed the supernal laws, namely the commandment to drown the Egyptians and save Israel. Because those above and those below were given over to it. Therefore we say that administering children, longevity and sustenance are as difficult before the Holy One, blessed be He, as the splitting of the Red Sea. And everybody says this. What is the reason? Because splitting the sea depends on Atika. Splitting of the sea is splitting of a problem that I can overcome. The good news, the issue are always internal. 
If you have issues which are external, it's coming from internal. We are drawing the wrong people into my life until I change myself. So if you end up with the wrong people every day, that means I didn't change. What do I need to do? Changing or transforming the left core. Transforming the receiving energy. So the first aspect of how to do is to connect to something called Atika. Atika Kadisha or Atika. I would like to connect to Atika. Why? Don't forget. Because I want to receive light. Ah, you lost it again. It went down. I want to connect to Atika because I want to open myself to receive whatever the light wants to give. Now, once you do that, pray. Be careful. If you, let's say, cheap and you have way too much money for your vessel, for your ability to receive, that money got to go. If you have way too many people who appreciate you, that got to go. But the question, do you want what the light want to give you or you want to grab the two slices of pizza that not belong to you? What do you want? You got to make a decision tonight. If you want to still grab the two slices, it's okay. But don't expect the happiness. Because when you end up with portion that not belong to you, you will be miserable, but with extra portion. So you can drive a Rolls Royce, beautiful, with your name on it. That life is good. Good car, good house. People clapping their hands as you walk in. Amazing life. But internally, you will be miserable. You got to make a decision. So some of you even, maybe you have jealousy issue. You're watching those people who are driving the Bentley and the Rolls Royce and they look like they don't deserve it. We are there judging them like the voice. We're sitting there. They don't deserve that car. We don't know what's going on in their heart. We don't know. Maybe they're driving a beautiful car. They have so much money. They're not happy yet. Because the left column has to be transformed. So first aspect, Atika. I'm connected to Atika from tonight. Write the miracle you want to achieve for the entire year. Don't be, don't be shy. The light want to give it to you. And then say, that's what I would like to wish myself. If the light allow it to happen. I don't want to grab a miracle that don't belong to me. Because if I will receive that miracle that don't belong to me, I might get it. But it will be miserable. If you meet your soulmate before the time, you will have a miserable life. But it's a soulmate yet yeah, before the time. If you met, make the business deal before the time, it'll be miserable. You don't want things to flow toward you if that's not what the light want to give you. Yashir, shar me be'ele ela milada talia v'ashlim la uzbana v'ashlim lezbana de'ati. Nezamni in Israel le'shapcha shirata dam Moshe uvn Israel mikan ul pinad etzadkiya kan mahei af al gav. הסתלקלו בדרגיל אלעין אל אליו, קשו בקשורת צורה לחיה, הזמינו כולו להחייה בגופל מחמי עטיין וברורן דקה, אבית קודשא בריחו לישראל ולמר שירתה דא, אהוד הדכתיב, אז ישיר משה ובני ישראל. We know that after the splitting of the Red Sea, they were singing a song, a melody. But when they sing the song, it's not written they sang, it's written אז ישיר, they will sing, it's kind of weird. Song that happened 3,000 years ago, it's not written, they sang, they say, it's written, as Yashir. Then they will sing. He asks, then sang, literally, will sing Moses. Should it have been written, sang Moses? He answers, no. This matter is suspended until the time to come, for he perfected it for that time, and perfected it for the future to come. For Israel will praise this song in the time to come. Moses and the children of the children of Israel. From here we learn that even though the early righteous men ascended to the highest levels that are above and have been bound in the bond of life, they will all stand up to be resurrected in a body and recite this song. This is what is written. Then we'll sing Moses and the children of of Israel. Now what is that resurrection business? What is that? The body itself represents the receiving energy. You want to know where the left column is? That's the body. But the body that cannot help itself from receiving 
has to die and vanish and disappear, disintegrate. But a body that is capable to have that understanding of what receiving it's all about. And that body saying, wow, the Creator built a body so I will be able to receive the pleasure, the joy, the happiness, the sustenance, the gift that the Creator want to give me. So now, how much joy I have when I receive? Endless. Because I'm asking for the Divine to give me exactly what the Divine, divine want to give. So now you're walking into that person's house and you are on a two, two days cleanse. You left, you have one day left. The person cook for 48 hours food just for you. You look at their eyes, they want to give. You say to yourself, what am I doing with my left column? I promise not to eat sugar. I promise not to eat this. I promise not to eat this. I promise. Should I continue my restriction? Or should I allow my vessel to receive the gift of what they want to give me? The one big question we always ask, how do I know? Well, you got to check yourself. Always check yourself. Are you giving or receiving by restricting? A lot of TV people do restriction, but they actually receive. The divine want to give me, and I'm opening myself to receive it. If in a moment I want to receive it, even if I get it, I'm still not going to be happy. If I say I don't want it, then I'm not getting it. Always you got to look for that balance within the two. So when we talk about the body will be resurrected, what is a righteous person? A righteous person doesn't mean somebody who wears a cross or yarmulke or religious. A righteous person, tzaddikah, for the word matzdik. A person who justify that everything that happened to me is the best that can ever happen to me. Why? Because if I'm standing and I'm saying, I would like to receive everything that the light want to give. How much the light want to give? Endless. How much can I receive? Endless. But none of what I want to receive is for me. I don't want it for me. I don't want nothing. But I know how much pleasure is giving to the light. Now please, I'm opening myself to receive it all. With that type of consciousness, you're splitting any Red Sea in front of you. You're overcoming any problem. You're making any miracle you want. It's written that the whole universe will be exist from special people who make themselves like shiraim, like a leftover. Now, what does that mean? Ever went to buy a car? The salespeople are sleeping, right? Once you walk into, the, there is a certain territory, you are the zebra. As the zebra walk into the territory, all the salesmen become a hina. But don't let the desire to overtake everything. Just be aware, light. I'm going to talk to that person, Zebra. If that's the right things, please help. If it's the wrong thing, please back it short. The left column is not balanced. What a righteous person is, person who able to maintain and contain himself with that awareness that consciousness why do I want it why do I want to receive it because the light want to give it only reason if I want it because I want it you're gonna end up either with chaotic situation not happy something will go wrong I can't want something because I just want it we're not babies anymore. I hope we're not. I want to become famous. You wake up. I want to become famous today. Very nice. Is that what the light have for you? Now, some of you will ask, how do I know what the light want? Whatever you receive, that's what the light want. All what you have to have is desire. Desire it. Desire it all day long. You're allowed to desire all the zebra in the jungle is yours. 
because the light won't give you all the zebra. But can I control that desire? When you, every time you're looking at the 72 name of God, every time you look at that chart, every time you look at that chart, it's automatically start balancing your left column energy. Now, this week, every time you look at it, it's not just balancing the left column, it's connecting you to Atika, and it burn out everything of wrong left column you have in your life. Can you imagine what a week we have in front of us? When you look at that date, you're burning the wrong left column that we have in our system. More than that, those of you will join us around 4 a.m. or something like that. We're doing it all. It's called the time of the splitting of the Red Sea, literally. And this is the time that you connect yourself to Atika for the whole year and it stay with you. It's so difficult to apologize, so difficult to forgive, so difficult to say I'm wrong. Why? The left column wants you to get. And then you end up with that being right for five minutes. You're walking with that dry zebra or pizza home and you're not happy. You're miserable. And you don't make the connection that you're miserable because you couldn't control the left column. You think it's just random. It's just unlucky day. But you wouldn't make a connection that maybe I'm depressed and down because I couldn't control my left column. Usually you say, they gave me evil eye. We found a good answer now. Maybe I need to work on my left column. No, no, I'm all guided meditation, which means you think about something and it, it guides your mind. The Ari call it Itbonenut. Itbonenut means looking into. I want you to think about one thing from your life that you're ready to sacrifice. Something you got to give away. If you're lazy, it's got to be time. If you're cheap, it's got to be money, food, and clothes. If you're into yourself, it's got to be passion and love. If you're shy, you got to talk to new people. Every person has to sacrifice one thing. One thing to go to Atika. One thing, you got to give one thing away from the left column. You got to find out what it is. What is difficult for you to give? This is the week. If you always need to be right, be wrong for change. So close your eyes. Think about one area, please, one area. We're going we're gonna to make it together as a group. I know we're going to make it. It's a spiritual holy community. Give it away. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it anymore. It served you for too long. Being jealous, being cheap, being angry, being lazy. It serves you well. It protects you from people. But it's time to give it away. Time to give it away. Enough. Enough with the jealousy and cheap and anger. Enough with that. You gotta give it away. And allow the true left column of you, the new one, to wake up. The one that can connect you to Atika. Please give it away. Please. Whatever you're thinking about right now, you got to think about it the entire week. The entire week. And you got to practice giving it away. Worry, stop worrying about everything. And allow the light of the divine to give you all those amazing gifts that the light meant to give you. 